and what's up everybody i'm back with another movie review back with another one uh today i am reviewing cloudy with a chance of meatballs another one of my childhood favorites this movie was released i believe in 2009 um uh, I've played uh, Tra Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs video game as well the, on the PS3 that I actually remember being good, but I can't remember much about it for the life of me. I just remember it being good, um, but you know, it probably wasn't that good. Anyway, this is about the movie though. Um, this is a movie that I feel like a lot of people, when it came out, it kind of got overshadowed when it came out. But I feel like now people see it as a really good movie. And um, I've, I've rewatched it many, many times since and um, over the years. And so I feel like I have a good enough uh, analysis of the movie to give a good comprehensive feel about it. So I got a lot of thoughts. Let's jump right into it, shall we? Um, first off, I, I don't know about you guys, but I think the humor in this movie is funny. I, I think I really like it even to this day. Um, just kind of like the, the, the way they, they portray it and everything like that and um, it's not like super forced or anything. It's just very, it's, it's not subtle though either. It's kind of just, oh, and then and it's just like abrupt, but you, you can kind of see it coming throughout the entire movie. So I really like that. Um, and I thought a lot of the morals that they tried to put through this movie, um, last really well to this day. You know, the overarching story is that you don't change who you are for fame or, Anything like that, but really, it wasn't. It, how am I? How do I word this? How do I word this? It's like you don't change yourself for fame, right? It's like you want to stick with the people that got you to there, and I think that's very, very true to this day. I think a lot of people need to need to know that. Just be real here. Um, so that's good. Um, there's a lot of good character arcs in this movie. Flint's character arc's really good. Even the dad's character arc is good. Um, a lot of other characters, too, really do a good job of coming around to each other and um, good to character development all throughout, really. Um, and uh, this seems true because it's really easy to root for the good guys. It's really easy to root for Flint, easy to root for the dad, easy to root for Sam. Um, you know, all that kind of stuff. But it's also really, really easy to hate the mayor, the main... I guess, really the main character of the movie, a uh, main villain of the movie. Um, you know, it's pretty easy to hate him. It's pretty easy to, you know, like Baby Brent is a good guy that comes around to being a good guy, but it's easy to hate him at the beginning, but then easy to like him at the end. You know, kind of that mix, stuff like that. So that, that just really shows how well written the characters are. And I think that's a really, really good thing. So. Um, and I thought the animation still holds up pretty well. Uh, I thought the movie still looks good. Um, it's not necessarily... It's not like a very realistic-looking movie by any means. I mean, it's an animated movie. What did you expect? But, I mean, it still... You know, it still looks really good. Um, there doesn't really anything that really hasn't aged that badly. I mean, this movie's about 15 years old now, and it still looks good. So, really, really like that. And I think my favorite characters in the movie, going back to the characters, have to be Steve and the dad. I really like Steve in particular. One of my favorite scenes in the movie is um, when he fights the gummy bears. That is my, that is amazing. That's an amazing, amazing scene. I also really like the dad because the dad is just a very, uh, very um, run-of-the-mill just dad. You know, he he very much loves what he does. He very much loves his son. But he, does, he can't keep up with the times. He can't keep up with technology that well. But he comes around to it. He has a good mind on him. And I think I really, really like that. Um, he's a very he's a good character to root for. And you can't really hate him. He's a, he's a really good guy. So, um, you know, how can you how can you hate him? But there's a lot of other characters I really like in the movie, too. So, uh, like Earl, for example, who's been one of the bigger memes of the uh, that have come out of this movie, but it's always, always good to see the memes, don't, 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 don't need to have me tell you that, say that, but, um, other than though, this is a great movie, um, I always like coming back to this movie, and, and watching this, the, you know, everything that you get to see in this movie, um, I think it's just a really, really good movie overall, and if you haven't seen it, I definitely would recommend going to see it, or not going to see it, because it's not in theaters. But finding it on like a streaming service or getting even getting it on DVD, how I watched it. Well, how I 
watched it in the past. So um, that's going to do it, though, for this review. My final score for Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, I'm going to have to give it a good... Give it a good... I'll give it a 9. I'll give it a 9. No, I'll give it a 10. I have to give it a 10. I have to give it a 10. A lot of these childhood classics that I'm finally getting around to reviewing are going to get 10s or 9s because they're just really, really good. A lot of them have hold it held up. Some of them haven't, but you know, most of them had. This one did. So this is a good movie. 100% recommend watching it. And if you have seen it, let me know your thoughts about it in the comments section down below. So that's going to do it for this movie review. Stay tuned for much more amazing content, including more of these. Don't worry. And other awesome stuff. And until next time, see you guys later. Goodbye.